Today I'm unboxing another Lenovo laptop. This one's for our client. This one's actually going to be used uh, on the road a lot out of the country. Uh, we use the Lenovo's because we like them. We've had good luck with them. They're pretty tough uh, computers. No major problems. We don't love all the software that comes on them. But that's where had it drop ship to me. And uh, we are going to open this up and take a look. We've got some expansion memory for this one. So I'll, at the end of this, I'll show you how to install the memory in this as well. It's run pretty good job shipping things. I've never had a major problem with stuff shipping in from Newegg, but I've heard some stories, but we continue to use them. We've never had a problem with them. This is OEM memory. Uh, if you guys are bored, you can click pause and take a look at it. Important information about memory. Install it correctly or it doesn't work. That's the important information. These things are static sensitive. I'm not going to take this out of the bag. Let's go ahead and slice this puppy open. And we'll be ready to roll here in a second. Don't particularly like that. Battery's not secured in there, it's just flopping around inside. Hopefully it's all bubble packed. Hopefully it's okay. This is supposed to come with Windows 7 on it. We'll find out if that's accurate. Uh, I'm looking at the discs here. We've got the Windows 8 uh, recover media with it. So I'm hoping it came as they described. Batteries are pretty small. We did not get the extended battery for this. Uh -huh. They said it was Windows 7. When we ordered it, it doesn't look like it's probably Windows 7, but we'll find out in a minute. It's a pretty nice laptop. They're pretty clean. There's not a lot of junk on them. Pretty easy to use. Um, I still have a few people that prefer to use the uh, joystick or whatever they call that unit there. Um, not many people do anymore, but it's nice that the Lenovo has it in case you want to use it. This is our AC adapter. This is one I haven't encountered before with uh, Lenovo. Looks a lot like a USB plug. Got a power adapter here on the side. Actually kind of like that. It doesn't wobble around, not like a circular one. Kind of didn't have the tendency to twist and stuff. I'll have to see how that works out over time. Got our ethernet over on this port or ethernet port over on this side. Got an HDMI slot, USB, USB, headphones, 
VGA monitor, SD card slot in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and install the battery in this. It's got a notch on this end, mounts into this hole right here. Slide straight in, clips in. There's a battery release down here to take it back out again. We've got some extra memory, as I mentioned before. I like to boot the machine up before I install it in to make sure everything looks okay, so we're gonna do that real fast. This comes with an ungrounded All right, we're up, we're booting. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down and install the memory. So we're done booting the initial boot. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down at this point and install the memory. They did put Windows 7 Professional on here like they promised, so uh, that's good even though the stickers all say Windows 8. The client ordered, I mentioned earlier, the client ordered another additional eight gigabytes of RAM for this uh, system. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in. The RAM is located underneath this uh, vent port right here. So you've gotta take this large panel off of the system. There's three screws, one, two, three, that come out. And these panels are a little sticky. They don't like to come out. So you'll hear the screw click when it comes up, comes free of the uh, device. And it helps to have a little bit of a pry tool for this. You can use a screwdriver, a plastic one's probably better. Just want to be a little bit careful. don't like to come open really easy when they're new. Take it off a couple times, it'll pop right off. When they're new, they don't like to pop off. So that's all there is to it. Your existing memory is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this chip in. It sits in at a slight angle. You'll feel it slide in. I like to keep myself grounded to whatever I'm working on just by keeping a finger or arm or part of my hands or arms touching the machine. Push it straight down, it clips in. There's two ears here and here that pop into the edge of the chip and that's what holds it in place. This pops back in, slides straight in. And like I said, when they're new, they're a little bit sticky. so take a little bit of pressure. You don't want to apply a lot of force, but a little bit of pressure to get that thing to pop back in the way it was. And tighten the screws back up so they're firm. You don't want to over tighten and strip anything out. It's not a car, it's a laptop. It doesn't need to be torqued down. You need to crank those down too much. Just check to make sure everything is nice and smooth and lock back in and let's fire it up and see if we see our memory change here. All right, so we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna make sure we see our memory change. Get this plugged in. Now it's not gonna come up right where we left off because I shut it off during the boot process before, so we should see the startup screen, and we do. I'm just gonna say go ahead and uh, start Windows normally. 
and it looks like we are up and running with uh, 10 gigabytes of RAM instead of 2, which is what the machine came with. So there we have it. It's a Lenovo E431. This is an i3 processor. It's a lower end. Good for word processing. You know, it's not a high end machine. You're not going to do video editing and a lot of stuff like that on this. Uh, we set these up for our clients that travel. It uses Microsoft Outlook to access their email. Uh, Microsoft Exchange on the back end, uh, remote desktop services for terminal services for a remote session they run through. So we'll pre-configure this with the client software, antivirus, everything, drop it off to them and they can travel all the world and uh, we can support that wherever it happens to go as long as they've got an internet connection. I suppose that's it for the Lenovo E431. Thanks for watching.